bookish friends. Uh, today uh, I'm going to do uh, the last uh, celebration video of my uh, one year in booktube. Uh, previously I had asked uh, both in, uh, in a video and on Instagram uh, to ask me about anything you want and I will try to answer your questions while drinking for my new mug. Uh, this mug, uh, as you can see, uh, it has uh, my channel name and uh, my sister-in-law uh, especially uh, had it made uh, for my birthday. Uh, I loved it. Uh, as you can see, it's pink. I originally planned to uh, drink coffee uh, while chatting with you, but uh, since it's so hot, I decided to change it uh, to a soft drink, but I love my no mug. So I want to thank my uh, wonderful sister-in-law for this very kind and considered present. First of all, I want to thank you all for your uh, kind comments on uh, congratulating my uh, first year in booktube. They mean so much to me. From your comments, I could see that uh, I think uh, I could make myself uh, clear about what I'm trying to do, why I'm here with these uh, very clever questions. You will know me better other than my bookish habits. I separated the questions uh, into three categories. Uh, first of all, I'm going to answer uh, bookish and uh, booktube questions. Uh, so, let's start. <laughs> uh, Emily at Novel Novels uh, asks me, uh, what is the genre that you want to read more of? I love reading it in different genres, but uh, currently uh, my some of my highest rated books have been uh, from the genre of uh, science fiction. Although it is my fifth favorite genre, I think I want to read uh, more science fiction. Second question comes from Gaia Athena. Uh, what are some of your favorite things of being on booktube and making videos? Uh, any highlights you'd like to share? And has being on booktube influenced your reading? I'm going to start with the easiest answer. Uh, the third question, uh, being on booktube has influenced my reading very much. My TBR uh, has grown uh, twice as much because I'm joining uh, readathons and uh, sometimes uh, and do body reads. Uh, I, I, I think I'm more open to trying new, uh, new authors and uh, new subject areas because uh, I am subscribed to more booktube channels. Uh, I have more. Uh, recommendations and uh, therefore I read uh, much more than I did uh, before uh, I, I joined booktube. Uh, any highlights? <laughs> when I uploaded my first video I was so nervous uh, that, and I was really uh, anxious that nobody would want to watch me but I had many many uh, welcoming comments uh, on the same day. I cannot uh, really express my excitement uh, about uh, comments uh, flowing uh, in the first three days. I felt like I was uh, flying in the clouds. I was so happy <laughs> and uh, this feeling I think uh, maybe has decreased but uh, I am still very happy when I uh, read your uh, kind and encouraging uh, comments. Uh, thank you all. Uh, my favorite things of being on booktube, uh, I had already answered that as a community, but I want to uh, talk about something different today. Uh, I, I'm really a big fan of the editing process, actually. It takes, it takes a lot of time, I know. For example, I really like finding the right uh, emoji for the video. And also I like putting out uh, different clips and uh, some of the edited and taking out some of the edited parts uh, feels like a, a puzzle to me. I don't know why I like it so much. Uh, it takes a lot of time, but uh, because I enjoy the process so much, uh, I do not mind it. I try not to do crazy things with editing, uh, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm taking an online class to uh, have better editing skills. Uh, Freddy uh, at Sluggish Reader. One of my new international friends uh, asked me uh, what is the funniest book you read recently and what is the saddest. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, talk about uh, the funniest book since I've joined booktube and the saddest book 
since I've joined booktube. I think uh, the funniest books uh, that I've read uh, belong to uh, Castles Ever After series uh, that is written by uh, Tessa Bey. It's a historical romance series and, and the heroines are uh, so funny actually and their relationships uh, are like uh, historical romantic comedy. I think the saddest book that I've read uh, since I joined booktube uh, was the last book that I read uh, for the uh, End of Green Gables series, Willow of Ingleside. Although I had some problems uh, with the with some parts of the book, parts about uh, the heavy effects of the world of World War One devastated me while I was reading it. Naomi uh, from Naomi's Bookshelves uh, asks, uh, what is the most interesting book you have been introduced on booktube? I'm going to talk about a book uh, that I discovered through booktube, uh, not since I enjoyed booktube. Uh, I think the most interesting book that I've read uh, and uh, I will give a second chance is The Illuminate Files uh, by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. I read and really like uh, liked uh, books that are told in letter format only but i had never read a book uh, that was told in mixed media format only uh, the reason uh, that i dnf'd at the time was that uh, i was having a really hard time focusing on uh, romantic things uh, because of my private life and uh, i really didn't like the uh, male character uh, but uh, right now, I really loving romance books, and it is also uh, highly praised by my uh, friends that I trust their taste uh, in booktube. Uh, therefore, I gave that book a second chance, and, and I will uh, read it uh, very very soon. Maisa G asks, uh, "What is a Turkish author you think everyone should read?" I'm going to talk about a Turkish author. Uh, whose works have been uh, translated into English, Elif Şafak. She manages to write uh, different genres and uh, different subject areas. Uh, she has uh, historical fiction novels, uh, she has contemporary novels, uh, she has uh, some uh, dark themed uh, novels as well as uh, very light themed books. So I think uh, you can uh, you can find a book uh, by Elif Şafak uh, that you will really like. So I think she is the author that I would advise to uh, all of my international friends. Last bookish question is uh, comes from Two Fund of Books, uh, Janelle. Uh, do you read more in Turkish or English? Uh, I read uh, more in English. Unfortunately, in the 80s and in the 90s, uh, the trend in the Turkish contemporary authors was to write only in literary fiction. Although uh, I like uh, some literary fiction works, I prefer the language of books to be less flowery and uh, less complex. And uh, unfortunately, the trend was uh, to write as complex as possible. Uh, therefore, uh, I, I stayed away from uh, Turkish authors for a while. In the previous uh, three years, uh, I started reading uh, Turkish books and uh, really enjoyed most of them. And since uh, I started DNFing books, I'm much more open to trying uh, Turkish authors that are new to me. But when I look at the statistics, uh, I can still say that I mostly read English books. The next question from Janelle is a very interesting question. Uh, if you could write a book that was guaranteed to be a bestseller, what would you write? Uh, I never thought about that before because uh, unlike uh, many of the book lovers, I've never thought of writing a book. I just like uh, reading them. But uh, if I were to write a bestseller in Turkey, I think I would write uh, about uh, scandals <laughs> because uh, as most of uh, the people uh, in all around the world, uh, Turkish people also love to talk about gossip. Fortunately, uh, gossip sells uh, more than the truth uh, in Turkey. Uh, I know it is the same for many of the countries, but if, if I could write about what I want, do not care about sales i think uh, i would write i would try to write a, a detective book because the exception of few detective novels uh, that are written by uh, turkish authors have been very disappointing to me so i will try to write one myself <laughs> but i do not think that it will sell much so those so those were the bookish questions uh, now we are coming to personal questions uh, book lady asks uh, how did you learn to speak english 
Uh, I learned to speak English uh, because uh, I went to uh, a private school and uh, I had uh, many uh, English, uh, Canadian and American tutors. Uh, for one year we, we only spoke in uh, English at school, uh, in the classes um, and uh, this helped me a lot uh, but uh, the fact that I liked reading uh, even before I learned English also uh, helped me to uh, improve my English after having an intense education of English for seven years uh, in the university I did not uh, use my English uh, but I went to England uh, for 10 months for master's degree and uh, this has uh, of course uh, improved my English uh, very very much and uh, lastly while I was uh, unemployed I did uh, some uh, academic translations. That experience uh, has also improved the level of English uh, that I'm speaking right now. Uh, so <laughs> that is my uh, English learning journey. Gunfather Fiction and Plot uh, asks, uh, we know you can speak uh, both English and Turkish. Do you know any other languages? Interestingly enough, I do not uh, speak any other languages and uh, I have all I have uh, I have only been interested in uh, learning Italian in the previous years uh, but uh, it it has not happened yet maybe it will musical bookworm asks uh, what is some advice you would give to someone who wants to learn a second language uh, I think uh, the key is uh, to read because uh, I loved reading uh, even before I learned English uh, my English uh, has been uh, better than most of my uh, friends who, who graduated from the uh, same school. And uh, I know that uh, the ones who read much uh, learned English much better. And I have an advice that I give uh, to my uh, non-readers, non-reader friends, uh, is that you should have the uh, subtitle of the language uh, that is spoken. Uh, in uh, when watching movies uh, or TV series, uh, this also helps a lot. For example, my cousin who originally uh, were taught uh, French in school, in high school, uh, she learned English uh, just by uh, doing that. I also still do use uh, subtitles uh, when watching. A TV series or movies in English and I learned many new words uh, by uh, that method. And her Pacific Northwest uh, Washington Life uh, asks a very interesting question. Uh, my question is what three people living or deceased would you like to have over for tea? I think I will choose a bookish person, an idol of mine and, uh, and a uh, famous crush of mine so that my reasons uh, would be different. I think I will have, uh, first of all, have Agatha Christie because uh, I really want to know how she wrote uh, all of those mysteries and sh how she came up with some of the uh, ideas that were new at that time. Uh, and uh, I really, I specifically want to ask uh, how she created Hercule Poirot uh, because uh, he's a very exotic character and a very unique character. I'm a big fan of her, so why not uh, see her even for a tea? The second uh, person that I'm going to talk about uh, is the founder of our Turkish Republic, uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. I have no words about uh, how, how much I love him. The Turks owe our independence uh, to him. And I heard that uh, his talks uh, at uh, the dinner table were phenomenal and uh, and it was like a uh, school uh, of philosophy, of sociology, of military tactics, of uh, uh, state uh, management. Uh, he was a well-read and a very analytical person. And that's why he could uh, form a very modern public uh, after, uh, the, uh, after the tradition of uh, sultans in Ottoman. So, uh, I would like to know uh, what he read and uh, his thoughts about what he read. Uh, and lastly, uh, I want to invite uh, Gerard Butler because uh, I I have a very big crush uh, on him. Uh, I like his Scottish accent a lot. Uh, it doesn't matter what he says. 
he will just sit there and talk and I will just look at him. I don't know how they will cope with each other, uh, but uh, those are the three people that I will invite uh, for tea party. Gayatana also asked a personal question. What are some of your favorite meals or things to eat and drink? Um, I'm going to say mantı for a meal. It's a meal from the Turkish cuisine. Uh, it is similar to uh, Italian ravioli, but uh, the uh, pieces are much smaller and uh, and the fact that they are smaller uh, makes it more delicious in my opinion, of course. My favorite uh, th thing to eat is chocolate. About uh, 10 years ago, I lost quite a lot of weight and uh, when they asked me how they uh, lost weight, I said I never gave up on chocolate. Uh, I Of course, I ate it in small doses, but... Uh, the idea of giving up chocolate would make me give up the diet uh, permanently. That was my big treat, the chocolate. My favorite drink, I think, is coffee. I like coffee a lot. Penelope Speaks also uh, asks a uh, food-related question. What is your favorite dish to make at home? Uh, my favorite dish uh, to make at home is zucchini, actually. Uh, that is... Uh, cooked in olive oil uh, and uh, using only garlic and tomato. Uh, it's a very refreshing food. Uh, you can eat it uh, while hot or while cold. Uh, so uh, it is a very, it's a very easy uh, food to make because uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of cooking actually. So uh, having practical and tasty meals uh, is the best uh, solution for me and for eating out uh, I like uh, chicken with uh, sweet and sour uh, sauce let's get fictional uh, asks uh, are there any hobbies uh, you have besides reading uh, I'm also very curious about what music you listen to uh, who are your some favorite? Who are some of your favorite mus musicians or singers? I'm a big fan of uh, watching movies and uh, TV series. Since I joined BookTube, uh, I watched less, uh, but uh, I'm not really uh, feeling sorry about it because, uh, as I've said before, I'm enjoying uh, recording and editing videos so much. Uh, I do not miss uh, on that. Uh, but uh, I really like a good movie and uh, a good TV series. Um, uh, about music, uh, I used to listen to music uh, a lot uh, when I was uh, in my uh, high school and university years. Uh, music has always been in background while studying. Uh, as of right now, I prefer slow uh, ballad songs uh, and uh, really do like... Uh, nostalgic songs actually uh, both uh, in English and in Turkish uh, I like uh, 70s and 80s music very 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 much so I like the uh, current slow songs especially Disney songs uh, I still uh, do prefer uh, listening to Queen uh, Belinda Carlyle, Maria Carey, George Michael. And uh, for uh, newer uh, singers, uh, I can say that I like Adele very much. Remember, Treat says that you sometimes share cycling photos on Instagram. Yes, I do. Uh, so I'm curious, uh, how common is it to bicycle around Izmir? Are there bi bike paths, lanes? Uh, do you bike mostly for fun or for commuting or both? Yes, uh, I like cycling very much. Because Izmir has a uh, mild uh, weather, uh, although it's very hot right now, people do do, uh, do use uh, cycling uh, for sports most of the time. Uh, and uh, many people also use it for uh, commuting uh, to work. Uh, and um, there are uh, bike paths uh, all around uh, the uh, harbor uh, surrounding Izmir. I will put uh, a, a picture of the uh, bike paths uh, that I found from the municipality website. As for me, uh, I unfortunately do bike for sports only. Uh, it's always been a dream of mine uh, to one day to go to work uh, by cycling. Unfortunately, uh, I... 
I can reach uh, my work uh, in 50 minutes using uh, both metro and uh, bus uh, so it's impossible for me to uh, use cycling for commuting uh, but one day I will do that Lisa Curtis asks uh, what are some of your life goals? Wow, this question is very deep, <laughs> but I like it. Uh, my life goal uh, has changed uh, over the years, actually. Uh, when I finished university and graduated as an architect, I, I wanted to stay uh, in the university and become uh, a teaching assistant and, and then a professor like my father is. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I had a very lousy time uh, in uh, university while doing my PhD and uh, I, I thought uh, university life uh, was not for me. And uh, then uh, I decided to uh, work in the state, so doing uh, some social work. I took uh, the exams and uh, became an architect in the state, uh, but uh, we are doing disaster work. And uh, although uh, it's not an ideal position in any capacity, I'm very satisfied with my work. Desire for professional success has diminished over the years uh, as I as I grew older. Uh, right now, my uh, life goal uh, is to visit as many countries as I can during my lifetime uh, because uh, I like. Uh, seeing different cultures. Pato the Reader uh, asks uh, ask, uh, something about my uh, life goal actually. <laughs> uh, what country would you like to uh, visit and what book would you take with you? Spinelli Speaks asks the same question actually. If you were to travel, where would you want to go? Uh, I want to go everywhere. <laughs> if I were to choose one country really would like to visit japan one day i don't know i have uh, maybe because i did a master's paper about uh, architecture in japan and how uh, it is uh, it is compatible with nature and natural forces uh, and uh, very respectful to natural forces uh, has uh, impressed me a lot uh, and also I have found this for Japanese culture. I will go to Japan if I had to choose one country, but uh, I want to go everywhere, as I've said before. Um, what would what book would I take with me? I think I will take a book about uh, Japanese culture and Japanese architecture. And uh, our last category is questions about Turkey. Uh, Gunpowder Fiction and Plot Scott and L, uh, asks, uh, what is the best Turkish food? Uh, it really depends on uh, what you're looking for because uh, Turkish cuisine has many alternatives. Uh, so I'm going to uh, talk about uh, three different categories. Uh, if you're talking about uh, sweets, I think uh, baklava is the best uh, Turkish sweet. If you're talking about meat, uh, I think uh, kebab, Turkish kebab uh, is the best. And if you like uh, something with uh, flour in it, uh, I think pide uh, with different uh, kinds. So I think those are the best uh, Turkish foods. But uh, as I've said before, uh, there are so many, so many different uh, Turkish foods uh, that are very delicious. Uh, Noel Novels uh, asks, uh, what is the thing you love most about your country? Although uh, we have many faults, uh, I think uh, the great thing about uh, my country uh, is the people uh, and how hospitable we are to foreigners. Of course, uh, the fact that most of the foreign money comes from tur tourism uh, helps that. Also, uh, as a Turkish woman, when I visited uh, other cities in Turkey, uh, I have seen that uh, the people, especially in the Anatolia, uh, have been very hospitable and very friendly uh, and uh, try to help uh, uh, me in uh, in finding my way uh, and uh, what to eat, uh, what to buy and uh, um, I really do like uh, that it has not changed in the small towns uh, in Turkey. In big cities it is much more different but in small towns people are very very hospitable towards foreigners both uh, from different countries and from our country. The two fond of books ask a similar question but uh, I'm going to answer it differently. Uh, what is your favorite thing about the place you live? 
the place I live, uh, the city I live is Izmir. And it has been uh, one of the uh, very cosmopolitan cities uh, during the Ottoman times. And before World War I, uh, I think uh, a third of the city consisted of minorities. This tradition continues. Uh, Turks have very different lifestyles. In Izmir, we try to live uh, together. If you come to Izmir, you will see uh, representatives of all different uh, degrees of uh, life, different lifestyles, and you will see them uh, walking by, walking side by side. People say that uh, Izmir is the most uh, tolerant city in Turkey, but I think. Uh, as a person who has lived uh, almost all of her life in Izmir, I think it's not just tolerance. I think we respect each other's choices as long as uh, someone uh, tries to push their values to us. So I feel very fortunate and privileged uh, to live uh, in such a uh, respectful city. So those were... Uh, my answers uh, for your questions it has been so much fun uh, i think this will be the longest video that i've recorded uh, but I, I have enjoyed every second of it it, uh, it helped me to talk more about myself thank you all for your questions uh, and uh, also if you have any other additional questions please comment down below i will try to answer them in the comment section if you are a new viewer first of all welcome uh, uh, and uh, please like and subscribe uh, hope to see you very soon bye as for turkish word of the day since, uh, since i've answered your question i think uh, answer should be the word of the day answer means uh, cevap in turkish and cevap is our turkish word of the day have a good day